What'd you just say? I said, good evening, all you crazy plant bitches. Nice. Sit down. Get ready. Pop that corn. Let's go. It's oops. I soiled my planties. So here we are. It's been a little while. Sorry for that. My apologies. Uh, between work and school, it's been a lot. I've been super busy. And uh, I haven't been feeling so hot either. And I think it's because I've been doing so much. So today we're just going to take a minute, chill out. I've got a couple of questions over here. Um, I posted on my social media, my Instagram, and my YouTube channel in the community tab. I posted, you know, if you have any assumptions or questions that you had to ask, and uh, I got a few things. So, while I propagate this and uh, get them potted up, we're going to answer those questions. And if we have time, I do have something else I need to repot. So, if we have time at the end, I'll grab it, show you it, and get it repotted. If not, that'll be a separate video. We'll find out in a minute. So, without further ado, let's get started. So this, you guys, is my philodendron McDowell. And as you can see, it's pretty big. And she's thirsty. That's why she's droopy a little bit. Because I didn't water her today. I didn't want it to be a big old mess when I started doing this. So, first things first, I have to have, I think because this soil, there's actually nothing wrong with the soil. So, because that's the case, I think... And I've got some soil here, some soil here, and this is just a bucket of soil, um, and some pots for when I get this separated. So I think first things first, we're going to try to knock some of this soil off and get her out of the pot. Okay. So we are out of the pot and making a mess. But I always make messes. Okay. Oh yeah, she's got a nice little root system. So what I'm gonna do is just knock a good amount of this soil off just so we can get an idea of what's going on with the roots and where they're coming from and going to so I know what I can cut and be able to salvage. So while I do this, we'll get into the questions. Um, so the first question I have here is what is this gorgeous plant? Now on my Instagram, I, I'll post, I'll put it here somewhere where there's room. Um, I posted a picture of my Anthurium Podatum and I recently got that one at Equigenera and it is super pretty. I mean, super pretty. And, um, whew, this is a lot of work, y'all. Look at all them roots. Um, so I posted that on my Instagram page, and that's what that is. It's a beautiful Anthurium Podatum. Next, have you always lived in Florida? No, I've not always lived in Florida. I was born here. So I've spent the majority of my life here. But at 14, I did go live in Michigan for about eight months and it was way too cold, I couldn't do it. So I came back, my mom lived up in Michigan. So I came back down here and then, um, nice you guys, I think I'm actually gonna be able to cut off as much as I wanted because I wanted to cut a few of these. All right, I think we've got enough out of the roots to see what we're doing. So, I lived in Michigan. I'm gonna try and propagate this baby all by itself. Probably going with my prop box. Ooh. What do we got here? We got some roots that are tangled. Um, so I lived in Michigan for six months, and then at 19, I moved to Indiana with my ex-husband, and I lived there for about, uh, I'd say, 
a year and then he and I parted ways and when I left him I actually went to Indiana or to uh, Virginia to live with my best friend and I lived in Virginia with her for um, I lived in Virginia with her for about a year and then I moved into a place of my own um, and lived there for about two years and my ex committed suicide and when he did that me and my two very small children came back home and since then we've pretty much been here um and it's been different places like we lived in palatka for a little while which is really country and then we lived in um st augustine for a while and then palm coast and then back to daytona which is where i'm from originally all right so these nodes are very close. I'm actually going to go grab a knife. I walked away and don't remember where I was. Doesn't matter. So no, I've not always lived in Florida, but I've been here the majority of my life. Alrighty. So I'm just going to get in between. Keep these intact. All right, so I got three cuttings. Oops, lost some root. Three cuttings. Um, I'm gonna let it callus, so we do have time. So I'm gonna let it sit in callus for a little while. And while it does that, let's set it to the side there. All right. So I'm back. All right. So I got this here squamiferum. And when I got it, it was potted in like all bark. So, next question. How did you and Petey meet? We actually met on Plenty of Fish, which for those of you who don't know, is a dating, online dating website. Um, yep, we met, uh, went out on a few dates, really hit it off and here we are seven and a half years later. So it worked out for us. Thankfully, it worked out for us. Um, first assumption, you don't like succulents and you would be correct. I am not a huge fan of the succulents. They just don't, I don't even really like cacti very much and I know they're not the same thing, but just not, they don't wow me so. Because of that, I don't buy them. And, oh my God, this is just all friggin' like bark. There's a little teeny bit of soil, but it's mainly bark. Alrighty, so, and there's a couple of these assumptions that have a question at the end of them, so I'm gonna kind of read it as the assumption and then do the question afterwards. All right, next, you don't, you don't want random plant obsessed people on social media trying to be friends in real life. Listen, I don't mind that to an extent. I don't mind somebody hitting me up. Hey, let's chat, be plant friends. I absolutely love you guys, love my plant people. So I am always, always, always down to chat. Now here's where I have a problem. If you're hitting me up every single day, asking me stuff and, um, And I know there's some of you who do this, so don't, I mean, don't take this the wrong way. But, um, if you hit me up only to ask me questions, you don't hit me up just to say, hey, what's up and see how I'm doing, then yeah, I do have a problem with it. Because there's a couple people who do. All they do is hit me up to send me pictures of their plants and, you know, which I don't mind pictures of plants, but it's only when they need to ask a question or just you know along those lines and i think that's kind of sucks because if i'm gonna be somebody's friend i want to be their friend i don't want to be you know there for them to use only when it's convenient that kind of sucks it makes me feel crappy and i don't like it already so in here it looks like we have three different plants 
So I'm going to separate this a little bit if I can. I'm trying to now. Um, these roots are wrapped into this bark like y'all wouldn't believe. And it actually doesn't have the strongest looking root system. To be fully honest, it doesn't. So we're gonna remedy that too. And this is my fault. I mean, I bought it and when I bought it, I saw what kind of mixture it was in and I just left it. And that's not like me. Usually I will, if I don't think the mixture looks great, I'll go ahead and repot. Um, so here we have one. But I, this time I didn't at all. I just kind of went with what was there. Okay, and then get this guy out of here. Alrighty, two more. So we're gonna get rid of that. I think. Yeah. So I've got my mixture here. Put a little in the bottom. I'm gonna kind of try and spread these roots a little down in there. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go with a bigger pot on this one because that root system is pretty good for this one. So. And I'll give this a poll, which I haven't made any yet, but I have to, so that's a video that's gonna be coming soon. Um, and once I give it a poll, it'll be nice, and it'll grow, it'll be stable, and actually, since it's not super stable in the pot right this minute, I, excuse me, that's the bad thing about Florida. I, ooh, excuse me. It's allergy season, and oh, MG y'all it's killing me right now like super killing me right now okay so we've got this one potted I'm gonna get a little bit of and I just put this little sink in here to keep it secure in the pot all right next assumption you have an obsession with air fresheners what is your favorite so to answer the assumption I don't know that I would call it an obsession with air fresheners, but I do enjoy them. Personally, I really just like the smell of a clean house. You know, I don't really like to do a whole ton of air fresheners, but every now and again, who can be the clean linen air freshener or a Yankee Candle? You know what I'm saying? Clean linen is my favorite, by the way. <laughs> There's that one done. We'll go on to the next one. Um, Next, hi Pooh. What's the most expensive plant you've killed? Um, I actually think that is going to be my first Warqueenum, the very first Anthurium Warqueenum I got. Um, I think that is the most expensive one. It was like. I think I paid 140 bucks, 125 bucks, somewhere around there. 125, 140, something like that. Either way it goes, too much money to be killing friggin' plant. Um, but I did. I killed it and I killed it fast as fuck, y'all. <laughs> it went downhill so fast. And it, uh, yeah, that really sucked because that was one of when I did keep a regular wish list, because I used to have a wish list on the regular, y'all, like stuff that I wanted, that I was on the hunt for, I was gonna buy it online if I couldn't find it in person. I don't do that anymore. Now, I know which ones I like, I have an idea of the stuff that I like, but if I can't find it in person, I'm not tripping. So, um, number two, and then the last one, it's not super tiny, so I'm still gonna put this in the same size pot as I did the other one. And that's only because I, when I, when I do this, I do it on purpose. It's because I know the plant's gonna grow. This is my way to be lazy. Now when I water it, instead of like waterlogging the entire bit of soil, I'll just kind of water around 
where the plant is now this first time because the soil is a little bit dry i will definitely be watering it in next um, my question is how did you get into plants and what was your very first plant you purchased um so a couple years ago right around my birthday i think it was 2019 right around my birthday my little kitty cat hung itself out on the back porch i was devastated um and because of that i didn't know what to do with myself i was looking for things to do with myself and i found youtube and i didn't used to watch a whole lot of youtube but then i found youtube and i found the plant channels and i found plantarina first and then i found summer rain oaks and then i found rachel over at Heart Shaped Leaves, and then I found Kaylee Ellen, you know, and it, it spiraled out of control. <laughs> it spiraled out of control, and here we are today. And the first plant I purchased, actually, the first plant I purchased was about seven years ago, and it was a golden pothos. I still have it in my collection. I'll put a picture in of it here, but I killed it. When I started collecting plants, um, I killed that pothos very quickly. I gave it root rot because I overloved it. Um, I've cut it back. I, I was able to salvage parts of it and it's growing again wonderfully. Like I said, I'll insert some pictures of it so you can see. But that was the first plant I purchased. And then the last question or the assumption I have here. Um, oh, no, it's a question. Actually, I was going to ask you how you how'd you get into house plants? Well, same thing. I just told my kitty cats. I found the people on um, plant arena was mainly it, man. Like I really loved seeing just like the full flush of green throughout her house. Beautiful. So that's how that happened. Um, and also if you could only save five plants from a fire, which would you choose? My Gloriosum, my McDowell, my Warquienum, my Thai Constellation, and my large Crystallinum. Those would probably be the five first ones I'd grab. If I could grab more, I would, but those are the five that just have a place within my heart and they'll never change. So, we've cut some stuff up. I'm gonna let that sit and callous um, for a little while just because. And we'll come back in a little while and pot it up. All right, you guys, so there you have it. I've got three Pastazana propagations, three Squamiferum propagations and we're going to put them inside and see how everything goes. I'm definitely going to keep two of each of these because I like to have a multiple in my um, collection and I'm starting to do that with a lot of stuff. So um, that way if something happens to one, I have a backup because the plants that I've got now are the things that I really enjoy. So I'll go ahead and I'll get you some footage of where everything's going to be living. We're going to take a little page from Rachel from Heart Shaped Leaves book. Do a little bit of sexy time with these here plants and let you see where they're going to live. So if you like this content, make sure you go down below, give us that thumbs up, hit your subscribe button and mark your notification bell for all so you can get notified anytime I upload. It's been a little sporadic lately. Um, I should be graduating school soon, so my schedule is going to change a little bit. Hopefully I'll be able to make a little bit more time to do some recording for you guys. So as I always say here on my channel, thanks for coming to hang out. Y'all come back and bring your friends. If you don't want to bring your friends, that's cool because you guys are the reason I'm here and I'm doing this. I love you and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Peace out. Oh my God. <laughs> that's what I deal with. Oh my God, it's not recording. Liar. <laughs>